Okay. Hello, welcome to gagrule.net. This is Gagrule live on Facebook. And today we have uh, Lilette and Jared. Uh, we met them about 100 years ago, trust me. Um, <laughs> it was like last November. And uh, so I thank you for coming. And uh, please just introduce yourself and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. We'll start with you. My name is Lili Kalikian. I help make the 100 Years From Home documentary. My name is Jared White, and I was the director on 100 Years From Home. So what got you into this? This is not just making a film. This is the journey you went, yes. right? Yes. How did, how did they start these things? Actually, before we go there, let me just uh, run. I when. Um, Last year in that uh, film festival, I recorded a little bit about one minute. Just let me run that for a minute. Sure. I've been basically looking at satellite images in my spare time. I go up and down the streets one by one looking for L-shaped roofs that kind of could match marking anything that comes close with a star. And hope that somehow I'll be able to discern the difference but it's just becoming a little overwhelming. I'm looking for the house that my great-grandparents built and then lost. Okay. I don't know if you guys heard that, but... Yes. Uh, so it was and great. The, kind of the intro of the film there. Right. It's, this is why I they just stole it a little bit, you know, so... I could use. But I have your trailer too. We could uh, run it in the middle. So how these things started, Lilith? Can you elaborate a little bit? Sure. Um, back in 2015, when we were approaching the 100th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide, um, that was very much top of mind for me. And uh, I, I knew I wanted to do something to kind of commemorate and remember it. And uh, my family's blueprint kept coming up in my mind, something that my great grandparents had and passed down till it reached me. And I'm basically the first person in my family to go back. And I dragged my husband, Jared, into documenting the process. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a, I'm a filmmaker, but I come from more of a scripted narrative background. This is really my first documentary project. Uh, so it was a big, uh, journey for me as well, uh, learning this whole other side of the, the art form. And uh, yeah, so she, uh, around that time leading up to the Armenian Genocide Centennial, was really uh, investigating this house that her great grandparents had to abandon in, in order to survive the genocide and, and get out alive. And so she was, you know, doing all of this searching for it and we thought well maybe this is sort of the way into this larger historical story uh you know her personal story is a great way to get people who don't know anything about this in involved and emotionally interested in what's going on and then we can give them sort of the more historical context and backdrop as but well. but how did it start it i mean that she said she told you hey i want to do this or how, how, I just want to know the root of this. Well, I originally wanted him to start recording about um, capturing other Armenians, like capturing interviews from prominent. Yeah, when we first started, we weren't sure exactly what the angle of the documentary would be in terms of like what we would be focusing on. And we thought, well, maybe we'll just kind of look at the Armenian people in general and see how they've you know, how they're doing a hundred years later and how they're not, they didn't just survive, but they're thriving in many different ways. Um, but yeah, she, uh, I mean, she basically roped me into this, this project, which I'm, uh, I'm glad she did. But I think at the time I didn't know how big of a project it was going to be. I don't think either of us knew. Uh, we thought originally it was going to be maybe a, a short film and maybe, you know, like 20 minute short film kind of a thing and we'd spend maybe a year or so on it and five, five years later we now are 
we finally, you know, we deb debuted it last year at ARPA Film Festival, and now we're going to be uh, premiering it on television on PBS SoCal September 1st. 8.30 p.m. Tune in. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know how you guys using your uh, audio. Seems to me Jared uh, comes very nicely, but yours is a little bit low, so I don't know if it's sitting or the way you are sitting close to... I'm sitting in comparison to the microphone. Yeah, push Jared away from it. No, just kidding. I'll, I'll back off. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so uh, this happened in 2015. You guys were in Yerevan. So you were just uh, visiting there or the, the movie was or the film was in your head? We were filming then. We were filming lots and lots. We ended up with about a hundred hours of content coming back from Armenia. Of footage, of raw, footage. raw footage. Raw footage. Um, and we basically still continued interviews while we were in LA. But yeah, when we went to Armenia, we went in 2015. So the, the centennial, as you know, uh, is in April, April 24th. So we went there uh, in... Was it a month early or something? Uh, yeah. No, we went there a few weeks before the, the centennial. I started. was there too. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We might have crossed paths. Yeah, I know. We, um, yeah, we, we had already planned to start filming the documentary at that point. We, we ran a Kickstarter campaign uh, that helped us get some of the funds to start and get uh, some of the equipment we needed to, to begin. And then we went to Armenia, packed, and it was just a crew of two. It was just us two going around Armenia and then eventually into Turkey, uh, trying to keep a low profile because we didn't want to draw a lot of attention to ourselves. So we, we kept the cameras small and the, you know, all of the equipment as minimal as we could. So that we could carry it up hills. <laughs> yeah, we had to lug it around uh, all over Yerevan and uh, it, everywhere we would go to interview a different person for the film, we would have to lug all of our equipment. So we didn't want to take so too much, but it was still a lot. So you as an American and she's an Armenian, how was the feeling when you crossed the border? Oh my goodness. Into, into Turkey? Yeah. I was nervous the whole time. So basically, I, Jared was doing a wonderful job uh, practicing his Armenian in, in Armenia. But uh, when we were crossing the border, I said, no more Armenian. <laughs> we speak English. You call me Lily. <laughs> we're keeping it very, very American. Um, but when we were crossing the border, funny enough, we both have uh, stamps in our passports from visiting Artsakh, Arbov, uh -oh. and they didn't even look. They let twice me. They, 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 they let me right through. I had it in my passport too, and then they stopped her and started questioning her about it. What were they asking you? What is this? Where is this from? Uh, I don't understand. What What is this place? They do. They have stamps now. I'm like. But you were using U.S. Their own language, so I didn't understand everything. Well, you were using U.S. passport, right? U.S. passport, but I had a stamp in it from Artsakh. Oh. And that was my fault. I had asked for that. They don't usually stamp your passport, but I like collecting oh. the stamps. So they did it for us. And oh, that's uh, that's a double that's double risk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, she was she was very nervous going into Turkey. Um, she, you know, was questioning whether she even wanted to go several times. Her parents were very nervous. They didn't want her to go. Um, but we were on a tour that was that left from Yerevan. So we were very kind safe. of they do it all the time in, you know, someone, you know, an Armenian who speaks Turkish, who goes there regularly. So we felt like we were in good hands when we when we did go in. But she was nervous the whole time. So, so as a tour, you didn't go yeah, like separately. You went with a tour group. Yeah. How, how, how many people? Oh, that's a good question. How many was it? Um, maybe like a dozen. Well, there were two buses. We were we we were kind of part of a bigger group uh, on two different uh, tour little buses um half of them kept going past some of them were on a longer tour we were only there for four days so we went to uh to ani Vaughn, and then kars and kars is the city that her great-grandparents lived in oh so so it wasn't like uh they had to detour for you to go to wherever you were looking 
So it was no, on their route. Because we knew it was going to go there. Mm -hmm. it was nice. I see. So, so it was four days. Yeah. How was it? Uh, like, did you go in hotels? Were they nice to you or uh, the food? Yeah. Totally fine. Um, again, we were with the tour group, so they do it all the time. They're used to it. We didn't have to handle anything, speak to anyone. <laughs> Here's your key. Go to your room. So when you cross, that's after that, it's, it's no more stopping or anything. Uh, no, not at all. Like the, the interactions we would have with people would be at restaurants or giving us boat rides to Ahkamad or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Minimal, minimal interaction. But do they knew you were Armenian? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. She was trying to keep a low profile, so trying to not really interact too much if she didn't have to. Yeah. Um, I do know they told a story, uh, our tour guide, when we were in Ani, and they were showing us all the ruins there, they were saying that um, there's a lot of ancient Armenian writing all over those ruins. And, but uh, a lot of the people in Turkey kind of just erase that part of the history and say that this is old Turkish, writing. old Turkish or something. And our, our guide was saying that he actually told one woman, in a woman who was like on a separate tour, she was asking about the writing and he said, oh, that's Armenian. And she said, thank you. I've been asking everybody, what is this writing? I've been asking for years and everyone keeps, you know, dodging the question. So there's so, a lot of erasure that's going on there for those ancient Armenian, you know, landmarks. So the areas you went, your interaction, were they Turk or they were Kurd? Because there's lots of Kurds in that area. There were a lot of Kurds that we interacted with. Um, yeah, there is a big population there. Mm -hmm. um, I know that one of the boats we went on, it was a Kurdish man who was taking us. Yeah. Um, but it was probably like a mix of, of Turkish people and Kurdish people that we inter that we saw around. So you have those goosebump on your the whole time. Uh, the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna make it. By the time we came back, you said, "Ha! Huh, thank God, yeah. I'm out." Oh my goodness! Yes, I was so happy to be back in Armenia. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's really, uh, I was going to go last year, but then it was end of October, it was cold, and then they didn't have, you see, like this here, um, I talked to you about, you guys, about this book. I don't know if you see it. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, this is, it's amazing, thick book. Last, uh, two years ago, there was somebody from London this guy is named Sarkis Yerayan, MD, he's a medical doctor, he wrote, has, for years I was looking for my history, I couldn't find, my parents told me the name is Khashkir in Betlis. But, the, you know, the Turks erased all the villages' names and stuff like that. So yeah. finally I found everything in here. And they give even the position, you know, the place, and they give it different names, Khoshir, Khashir, and, and different, different way they put it. And it was amazing. I was so happy. I thought if they would have told me $1,000, I would pay this. But it's, it's just amazing book. Anybody, anybody who doesn't know their village name, this is for, for all this time I was looking, I could not find uh, that name because they just wiped out all things, you know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah, it's it's just uh, it's amazing. But I, you know, I give you credit for you to uh, took that risk when they're both of you, you know. But you were at least more much safer, Jared, than than oh, yeah. she. Yeah. You're an American. I, he gave me all of the uh, camera equipment, so I was drawing attention to myself with with that. I, we brought a drone with us to get some drone footage. Uh, well, you took drone? Could you really? Yeah, we, and we got some beautiful footage, and we got. What, we did to, they see it? Did the, they see it when they checked? We, yeah, when we were going through the security at the border, they were like. Oh, they were questioning me. They were. They were like, "What is this?" I was like, "It's a camera." <laughs> and they were just very suspicious of it. Uh, but yeah, Lily did not want to carry any of the equipment, so that's 
That's how I was drawing attention to myself. So your cameras were big camera or just a small cat, a camcorder? Uh, the main camera was a, a Canon 5D, so it's like a... It looks like a... It looks like a still camera, but it takes video as well. So mm -hmm. it, it's pretty small, but the drone was the main thing that kind of uh, looks... In a big box. Draws wow, I don't believe... We actually went, when we went to Vaughn, uh, we went to Akhtamar, and I flew the drone on Akhtamar, like, you know, getting a shot of the church on the island, uh, and I was able to fly it up and down, and then they kind of came over and were like, no, I don't do believe they let you take drone. <laughs> oh, they told them to stop. Oh, they told me to stop, but I had already, I already got the shot. No, but at least getting it inside, you know? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't know how it's now. Now probably worse. I don't know. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. It's and now it's because this guy is getting every day more and more crazier. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how long took you to put this video together? I mean, the the film. Long time. Uh, we so we got back um, in May of 2015, but we continued to film in Los Angeles because we were interviewing a lot of. Armenians here. here in LA as well. And there's a lot of uh, prominent Armenians that we, we interview in the film. Uh, we interviewed Bahe Berberian, comedian. Yeah, in your, uh, in your uh, trailer, I guess they call mm -hmm. them, you have that. Let me see if we could run that for a minute. Now, I think it's about two minutes, isn't it? Yeah. I've spent the last few months looking for what my family lost nearly a century ago. This is the house. This is not just a piece of paper. Yeah. This is their dream to go back and go back to their own life and to their own country. I'm looking for the house that my great-grandparents built and then lost. Armenians are an ancient people. What is the Armenian Genocide? What is it? 1.5 million Armenians were killed in the Ottoman Empire in what is today Turkey. Denial brings on the additional part of the shame. As we approach the 100th anniversary of the genocide, I felt compelled to do something. The genocide doesn't end with the killing, but goes on for generations. My identity is something I've always struggled with. Who is the authority on what it means to be Armenian? We have to revisit the Armenian identity. 70 million people living in 100 countries. Armenian identity today is not something similar for all of them. I feel so removed from all of this. This is the breaking point for Armenians of the world. We need to widen the discussion. We need to talk about culture and history and music and film and all these other things. Ultimately, identity is what a person believes he or she is and wants to be. I am a cat from Atelier to Salok Sati, there Shana to make sharp linear to Kayum. I never thought I would be here. It was the killing of the homeland, not only killing the people. It's now dealing with the erasure of their existence. You can tell there's so much history here. But we should make it man. Home is not a hundred years ago. It was great. Like, yeah, there's Bahe Barbarian uh, voice and uh, uh, Hovanesian and and that yeah, other. Historian Richard Hovanesian. We ha uh, we talked to uh, Carla Garapedian, uh, Alexis Ohanian, the co-founder of Reddit. We talked to Shushan Karapetian, who was at UCLA now at USC. Uh, Archbishop Marti Rosian, a lot of great prominent Armenians from all walks of life. So the the bishop you went to Artsakh that one. Yeah. He's amazing That's guy. Amazing. I, I'm not a religious a guy. Very, very nice. I'm not a religious guy, but this guy is just amazing. I don't know why he's a religious. Should be like commander or something. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. was very nice and he gave a great interview. And yeah, we talked to him um, you know, about the situation in Artsakh and you know the the shooting that still is happening at the border and obviously there's the you know the conflicts that have just been coming up with at the armenia azerbaijan border as well mm -hmm. so uh it was great to hear his perspective on it and help give context to people who don't know about yeah. what's been going on actually the twin uh 2015 
the only way you could know that you were there, you know, was raining that day. <laughs> it was raining like crazy. <laughs> Yes, it was. Yeah, they uh, on the actual April 24th, the Remembrance Day, and they say that it always rains. Yeah. Uh, but when we went to go start, it was sunny, it was nice. Start filming, it, it was nice. Later. There was there was no rain. Uh, and then as soon as we got to the top of that hill and saw Titernakaber, it just started pouring. Yeah. Actually, and, well, I don't know if you not, stroke. I don't know if you guys noticed, there was a guy, the Australian guy carrying. Uh, Australia and New Zealand flag. His name is um, Len Wicks. He's married to Armenian. He's Australian. So because uh, Australia and New Zealand, they didn't come. So he was doing against them, you know, carrying the flag and he was talking. I'm sure you guys saw that, but you don't remember that. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's another guy, really. He's more Armenian than than his wife is, you know, so he does lots of things. So what else can you tell me? Uh, um, they left. About the film? About yeah. The well, about the, <laughs> about the film. Yeah. Uh, the film was... So you're going to run it in September or something? Yes. So we're going to be on PBS SoCal uh, in September 1st, 8.30 p.m. Wow. So that's... we're very excited about that. It's going to be part of a double feature with another Armenian documentary called uh, What Will Become of Us? And they start at seven, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. So both of them actually be interviewing us on PBS as well. Um, so we'll be there. They're kind of taking breaks in between uh, in the, the two. middle of our documentary with, to interview us. And then we're also going to have Baha Berberian and Carla Garapedian. Are they going to be there? Well. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. tune in. <laughs> I, I like Carla. She she man, she she was the one I think behind the screamer. The yes. uh, yeah, the system of a down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great film. And she was supposed to make another movie, but apparently she's not getting enough money or something. You know. Mm. Yeah, not easy. I guess you guys find out hard way. It's to make movies. It's <laughs> take. You have to be. You have to be passionate. That's what was great about this is I, you know, it's a story that I care deeply about, Lily cares deeply about. So that helps you when you're, you know, four years, five years into a project uh, that you, you have to really care about it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I was real. I was, I wanted to talk to you guys at the movie, at the film, but we never had a chance except hello, how were you and all that things. But, well, you have our full attention. Yeah, you, you did that uh, interview with us on the red carpet. Yeah, right? yeah, it was nice. But it was short, you know, like, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I don't know what, what else to ask you, but uh, if you could tell me stuff, you know. Key things I should say? Or? Yeah, I mean, um, we keep mentioning the, the film festival, but yeah, it premiered at the ARPA Film Festival to a sold out screening. Uh, we were very thrilled at that. It was at a big theater in Hollywood. And, you know, we've just been uh, so thankful for the reception that we've gotten from the Armenian community and just the, the community in general. Um, we're very thankful for our Kickstarter supporters that saw that we could make something even when no one else believed in us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, well, well, I have now uh, suggested some project because I don't want to do it, but it's, it's, uh, uh, this is a big one. It's like, I don't know if you guys seen, it. I'll send you the link you guys could look. It's about, uh, I think 175,000 people watched it and uh, maybe 2,000 something people liked it because I wanted to create a, a base, military base. Every Armenian give ten dollar, and we could buy it and build it. But I don't know. It's a big, big talk. But I don't know. It's my. Yeah. It is big, but I think diaspora would need to do that, because the name I called it Armenian in Exile Force. <laughs> so, yeah. but it's too big. You know, it's sometimes. Yeah. You know, I always been I in business. When you are in business, always when you make suggestion, people always have what? That's impossible. You know, like I know that. And Armenians, they have three letters they use always 
चलना चलना लिखी सो बट आई डोंट केयर अबाउट बट आई वाज सरप्राइज लाइक यू नो द 175000 पीपल वॉच दैट यू नो एंड इट्स लाइक इन जस्ट वन वीक एंड बट वी सी इफ दे पुट देयर मनी वेयर देयर माउथ इज यू नो yeah that's one one thing is uh people like things one thing is they they do it but yeah i'm so i'm very happy to see that you guys did and uh, we look forward to see the whole movie maybe in uh, september yes and that's one of the big uh aspects of the film is it really explores the armenian diaspora obviously levi grew up here in la in the diaspora and this feeling of kind of being disconnected from her culture not quite feeling like she was armenian enough or fit in to it and that's a big part of her sort of personal journey that she goes on in this film of exploring her family's history and exploring her connection to armenianness and being yeah. armenian okay tell me about your family history like okay so your 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 parents are born outside armenia i um, mean western armenia or they were tell me the whole story so my parents were born in armenia but that's mostly because their parents repatriated to armenia uh they used to be like i have three three of my four grandparents used to live in what is now turkey so around the genocide they fled two of them to russia one of them to greece and then they went back to um sorry back to armenia where my parents were born and they moved to the us where i was born so your pa- so your mother and father was born in armenia yes and your grandparents was born in kars two of them yes two. well one of my grandparents was born in kars yeah mother and father my great grandfather i mean sorry great yeah yeah okay Well, well no, your, sorry, your, my your mother's father. Yes. I'm sorry. This is getting He was confusing. a little kid when they f- fled. Yes. Did you find finally the house? I think you'll have to tune in. Yes. At 8:30 p.m. September 1st, 8:30 p.m. So, uh, so. also I wanted to mention we have sponsorship opportunities as well in case there are any companies or organizations who are interested in helping us get the film ready for broadcast uh they'll have a chance to also promote their their organization on PBS as well so uh they can feel free to reach out to us uh our website is 100yearsfromhome.com yeah send me that stuff we'll put it all in the in the show notes you know Definitely. so people could contact you guys or something mm-hmm. but yeah. yeah it'll give you that you know this program brought to you by <laughs> somebody yeah insert yeah. your well i don't have commercial mine is all it's it's paid by me you know i don't yeah. have yeah. commercial you have integrity i yeah. like it i like it I would, that's why i could say what i want and nobody <laughs> can influence me and uh yeah sometimes people when i, I write some some people thinks says i don't care who is paying you this you know <laughs> like yeah i wish they did <laughs> but nobody's yeah. paying me All right so I don't know I'm going to leave last words for you two to say it and uh if you have nothing else to say I I guess I'll go first thank you so much for having us I wanted to throw out a big thank you for everyone who's been part of this project from the very beginning with our Kickstarter supporters down to uh the people who we interviewed to the people who helped us behind the scenes um and the people we continue to work with that PBS and future. Yeah, we're we're very thankful that you have us on your show and um yeah, just uh again that our film 100 Years from Home will be premiering PBS SoCal on September 1st. That's a Tuesday at 8:30 p.m. and we're hoping to get the word out. We're very excited and you know, tell your friends, tell your family. <laughs> It's going to be uh It's going to be an exciting uh broadcast and we're, like I said we're we're going to be interviewed on it as well and we're going to have Vahe Berberian, Carla Garpidian and uh yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Polly. Well, you're very welcome. I wish you all the best and I will hopefully we could see it uh and then we'll uh, report on it. 
and I and all the best. I think you guys did you guys did great job, and and it's very courageous, you know, like uh, going across that border. I I would it would be like scary, you know, but <laughs> but I guess you guys did it. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Okay. Well, bye bye. So just stay there. Don't go. All right. So this is it. Uh, so this is uh, Lilette and Jared, and they are the two angels who took the chance, went to Turkey, find out this, find out house. I don't know. She didn't told us that, so we have to wait until uh, until September first, right? Yeah. Until yeah. September first, we'll find out if she find the house or not. That's the mystery. So. They even told me, I don't know, they have never told me anything yet. So, all right. So take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.